Hey, it's me again, May, and you're watching my channel, May Something Creates. Thank you so much, guys, for watching back. And for today's video, I'm going to teach you how to impose your calligraphy. So if you want to make some efforts with your calligraphy and you want to head on to the next level, then this video is just perfect for you. Yes, you heard it right. mag get books tayo ng calligraphy and we just need few materials para magawa natin yun. And before we start, please don't forget to subscribe, uh, like, and share. And if you do have any comments, you can just comment it down below the comment section. So without further ado, let's start the video. For the materials, gagamit lang tayo ng 100 GSM paper, zig embossing pen, and kung makikita nyo may dalawa siyang tips, isa for scroll, and the other one is for brush pen. And ito yung gagamitin natin pang calligraphy for today. Then of course, we have the embossing powders. I have here three shades, pero kung nagsisimula ka pala, ang mas practical kung pipili ka muna ng isang shade. Then of course, di mawawala yung ating heat tool. So, nabili ko ito sa Craft Central, dun sa online store nila. And ilalagay ko yung link sa baba para ma-check nyo rin kung available pa dun sa online store nila. Then, don't forget the brushes. Kailangan natin isang manipis at isang flat brush na maliit pang walis ng excess powders. Don't forget the scratch paper na ilalagay natin sa likod para dun natin ibubudbod yung matitirang powders. And uh, since we're complete with our materials, let's start! Yung gagamitin nating brush pen is itong clear zig embossing pen. And kung mapapansin nyo, wala siya as in um, ink. Pero on the side view, makita nyo may nililive siyang marks. And dito natin, pakakapitin yung powders or yung embossing powder natin. So, kung lang natin yung container nating embossing powder. So, napili natin for this time is yung black. Then, ibubudbud lang siya all throughout the letters. And then, ipapagpag lang natin siya dun sa scratch paper na nasa likod until halos mawala na yung mga excess powders. Then, sa pagbalik ng excess powders dun sa container, just make sure na ipafold nyo on top para maipon lahat siya sa center. At pag kabinalik nyo siya, directly na siyang mapupunta dun sa container mismo lahat ng powder para walang excess na matatapon. And make sure na itakip nyo siya tightly kasi may tendency na makamatapon siya, mahirap na siyang kunin. So, yung excess powders na hindi na kinaya ng pagtaktak natin kanina, gagamitin lang natin siya ng brush, tapos wawalis-walisin natin yung paligid. Then, yung thin brush, perfect siya para dun sa mga masisikip na corners or dun sa mga curves na medyo mahirap nang abutin nung ating flat brush. And since we're done cleaning the surface of our calligraphy na may embossing powder, we'll now go ahead and use the heat tool. So for the heat tool, make sure na naka-off siya bago nyo isaksak. And just a friendly reminder, mag-ingat sa pagsaksak sa plug ng ating heat tool. And then pag nasaksak nyo na siya, and then you turn on, ito yung magiging sound niya. And as you can see in our video, nagiging matingkad na siya kasi na may melt na yung powder niya. And please make sure na yung distance ng papel from the heat tool is 1 to 2 inches away para na spread din yung buga ng hangin niya. And as you can see, na-embos na natin yung una nating try. And it looks good. And kung makikita nyo, nagsashine-shine siya. And if you try to touch this, hindi na siya matatanggal. So this time, gagamitin naman natin yung aking sketch pad. And kung makikita nyo sa cover, shiny siya. Kasi nalagyan ko na siya ng acrylic paint and nalagyan ko na rin siya ng gloss. So we'll try to emboss this using our embossing pen. And then same process lang din. And right after that, again, natin embossing powder, then a heat tool, then all done! I hope that you have learned something from this and thank you so much for watching. 
See you on my next videos. Bye!